Hey guys, Justin here with the Satellite Phone Store and today I wanna to talk about something that maybe you haven't thought about. Can you call 911 with one of these devices? And the answer is yes and no, and it also depends on where you are. Are you in the United States or outside the United States? And also if you're calling 911, maybe it doesn't link you to the right place geographically. So there's a few tips and tricks that I wanna give you guys today on better practices for emergency services. One thing to keep in mind is sometimes there is a full blown emergency and you just gotta call in everybody, right? And that is maybe a time when you just hit the SOS button on one of these devices. But sometimes it might be something like you're off grid and you see a forest fire and you wanna report that. Or maybe you just need to get extracted or maybe you just need some medical advice to be able to tend to one of your friends on some wild adventure. So let's get into some tips and tricks on how to use these things best in an emergency situation. Before we get into satellite phones, I do wanna talk about a couple other devices that we carry at the satellite phone store. One being this bivy stick and the other being this InReach Mini. So the big thing about these two devices is that they're great for when you're going off road or traveling. They have long lasting battery life they are capable of telling you the weather, you can send messages, people can track you. So overall, they're great. The only thing they're missing is voice, right? But you still have the ability to be able to communicate. And I think that that's a big key feature. Also, both of these have an SOS button. So as you can see here, I have mine attached to my backpack. And the thing about having it on my backpack is that I actually ride motorcycles off road a lot. And if I were to eject off the bike and I had my satellite phone for some reason, either maybe even in the back of my backpack or still on the bike. I have my inReach right here to be able to hit that SOS button. If I'm somewhat incapacitated, but still have the ability to do that, it could literally save my life. Okay, let's talk best practices when it comes to satellite phones. For one, number one thing is before you go anywhere, Go out in your backyard or wherever in your neighborhood and just test this thing out. Try to make a phone call. That way you're kind of rehearsing the whole process on how to use a satellite phone. Then another big piece of advice here is be prepared with the right numbers for the scenario you're going to be in. So if you're going to go to Sequoia National Park, look up what the National Park, Sequoia National Park's park ranger number is and program it into your phone before you go off grid. That way, if you just need to call because you got lost or you need some medical advice or maybe just to be extracted and it's not like that serious of emergency where you need to hit the whole SOS button, you can get help without raising the big alarm, if that makes sense. Save that for when it really needs to happen, right? Another thing is if you're a boater, maybe look up what the Coast Guard number is in your area. That way you can call them if you're out at sea and have these things programmed ahead of time so that way you're not up the creek, you know what I mean? All right, let's start with Iridium real quick. So Iridium will actually work with 911 in the 50 United States. So you can call 911. The only downside to that is that it may connect you to the other side of the country. And so being more localized and being more specific, like also calling Geos, Geos is the service that you use to register your SOS, they can send people directly to where you are. They can also look up what your GPS location is and make sure you're getting the right help for the right area. Their phone number is plus one, three, two, one, two, five, three, six, one, two, four. Jumping back to the office real quick, because there's one other tip that I forgot to mention in this video. And that's that if you're off grid, it's really helpful to know what your satellite phone number is. So that way, if you do call emergency services, you can at least give them that. But even better is that if you're on the phone with emergency services, you can ask for a number that you can message and then send your location, your GPS location through your device. Included in the links below are some videos that are more in depth on how to do that. But that's a really important tip to remember. Back to the car. Well, other numbers you might wanna consider putting in your phone is maybe a nurse hotline. If you have that as part of your medical insurance, you can just call a nurse hotline. 
that's something that could be very beneficial if you're on some sort of adventure just to try to get some like advice maybe somebody's got some altitude sickness or uh, maybe somebody's just wheezing and you're a little worried about them instead of raising all the alarms just call somebody to be able to get the right help but you do need to program those numbers ahead of time and test some of those numbers out to make sure that it does call through when you do dial it back to the 911 thing so Another thing to keep in mind too, is that if you're in a different country, not everybody uses 911. Sometimes it's 112. So make sure you look up what is the emergency number in your area. And with the Iridium, it should work. But again, as a precautionary thing, I would recommend calling Geos. If you guys have any questions on this stuff, here's the beautiful thing about Satellite Phone Store. We have really good customer service. We wanna help you. We wanna make sure that you get with the best products so that in every different scenario, you have what you need to be able to thrive essentially. So give us a call if you have questions. We do rent and we also sell many of our devices. So give us a call and we'll make sure to set you up with the right thing.